G'day everyone, Badlander here. Welcome back. Um, just with the recent floodings and cyclones and everything, most of the state forest tracks and everything are being cut off. National parks are closed till at least mid-March. So I thought, what am I going to do? So I decided that I'm going to show you the sites of Cairns, where if you do come up on your bike ride with either you or your family, I'll show you some of the sites that are little or no cost that just can all come and enjoy. Um, it'll range probably within about 150 k's of cans, but I'll try and do all the local ones first. Today we're at Crystal Cascades. Um, it's about 19 k's from the centre of town, 18 k's from the Smithfield area of the Northern Beaches. So uh, I'd like to show you it. Come along, it's a great family place to come and enjoy. Cool off in the summer months, safe to swim in most of the area. I'll show you where you can't. So let's go and we'll show. As you get through the gate, you see the first of the little gazebo, so there's another reason there's plenty of room for shade. Um, you've got a bit of signage on the track and how it goes. It's a 1.2 kilometre track one way to there, but it's easy undulating sort of path um, that's made up of pavers, asphalt and cement. So it's easy access for all people. If they've got wheelie walkers, um, scooters, or anything like that. Uh, it's not a stressful walk by any means. Uh, the, the grounds are pretty clear. As you'll see, you'll see wildlife like my little mate, the scrub turkey here. He didn't want me to get any closer, so we kept going. Uh, along the path, you'll see um, signage uh, saying some of the Aboriginal things, uh, identifying the wildlife you may see, just to give you an understanding of how things go. Sorry, it's a bit glary there. And uh, we just keep going up the path. And then you come into a little section, you'll see a green sign. Uh, this is pretty important because this is the um, flood siren sign. So in the rare event we get a, a flash flood, you take this little track, it'll take you around to the bush and it'll take you to the top of the car park above the highest watermark. So you'll be nice and safe that way. The rest of the um, thing is above the water level. Now we go just past that and you come into the second picnic area. As you see there's a little barbecue area, seat bench and an undercover gazebo with rubbish bins. So for the family side of things or if you just want to chill out of the weather, this is a perfect little spot and there's multiple seating um, all along the track even as you get higher. We're just coming to the first of three ways down to the bottom of the creek which is easy access. You can access it a few ways, but this one is the easiest way. Um, stairs are well made, non-slip, uh, but just treat them carefully if, the, if it's wet or anything. And you'll see how pristine the water is here. Uh, we haven't had rain here yet for about three weeks, so it's nice, clear, and uh, you know, plenty of spots to swim. Just Take the normal precautions. As you go along the track on the left hand side you'll you'll see the dense rainforest all the way along. It's just so amazing. Those cliffs are about 90 degrees up and just the trees growing upright. All the way on the right hand side you'll come across the creek going up so you'll have views of varying um, places and see all the little waterfalls on the way and pick out the spots to swim if you choose to swim. Now I should say that you should pick your time to swim. If the water's low and calm like this, this is fine. This is the second walk down part. Uh, once you're down there you can go up or down a little bit and cross to the other side. But just be respectful of other people and respectful of the hazards and the water. You can see it's pretty clear here, so you can see the rocks and everything like that. All the way along there's little waterfalls as you go. And on, on the left hand side where the hills are, you'll come across these little waterfalls running out of the hill. It's just so pristine there. I know you're walking next to a path, but the wildlife's there. Again, all the way up. Like I'm showing you here, the path, it's just access to seeing the water easily. I 
I love these trees. They're just so cool. It's just something about them I love. Hopefully you can hear the birds. Now as we get to the yellow fence sign, there's a warning sign that this is where the danger area is, uh, even in the calmer weather. People still go swimming, so once you get past here, the path will go from asphalt to concrete and it's guardrailed all the way because of the steeper sides but you'll get some fantastic views of the waterway as you go yeah, just these trees growing out of the rocks growing upright they amaze me so much another little waterfall closer to the top as you come out just makes it so enjoyable up there. Good photo opportunity for you as well. It's totally family friendly, this thing. So even if you've got little kids and you watch them near the water, that's the main thing. And then we're getting a little bit closer up to the top now. See the figs, the trees growing out of the rocks over the other side. I know it's a bit blurry, but I did my best with what I had. Uh, it's unreal watching those things. They just built to survive. Totally amazing. Yeah, we're getting closer up the top now, but you're limited to your views because of the rails and the trees. But it gets better just after this little section here. Yep, and there you see it. It's probably about 200, 250 meters down from the actual final uh, lookout and access to the river, the creek, sorry. Um, it's pretty cool, but yeah, it just starts roaring sometimes. And when it does rain up here, it's quite a deafening sound and it's just as good. You just can't swim, but you can see the, the creek just roaring down. It's cool. Now we're coming up to the lookout section here and it's about as high as you can go so that's from the lookout looking down at the top of the cascades there and there's some people swimming it was a pretty calm day and that's just you can walk down there so you can access it easily there's another staircase which i didn't show to just finishing up here thank you so much for watching i hope you like the series um, we'll be doing at least four or five of these Hopefully then we can get back onto the tracks. But it's always something I'd like to do is share how beautiful it is up in FNQ. So I may even consider starting another channel and just focusing on this. Or if you'd like to comment and say, should I keep it on the same channel or start another? Um, we'll go from there. So thanks again for your support. Please like, subscribe and comment if you can. Thank you. Badlander out for this episode. Bye.